Yeah, that's what I'm going to shape it into, Jay. I'm just going to make this a giant crystal penis and set it in my front yard. Let's go back. I saw it. So I went, uh, I went out this morning to retrieve the trail cams. This is our first piece of news. Uh, the last time we streamed, I went out to the woods and we set a trail cam up at a meadow. And I left it out there for close to a week, a couple of days. Went out there to retrieve it today and the memory card was completely full. Completely full. So I bring it back home and I plug it into the tower to transfer the video files over to the computer and every single file on the video card was corrupted I got nothing off of that card everything came up there and they were all eaten together possums, raccoons out the ass fucking stray cats coyotes would come in there and not mess with any of the other animals they would just eat out of the bowls and you know yip around a little bit he had this, the, the most amazing group of wild animals out there eating in that backyard because it's a food plot. Uh, I found a rock. This is the rock. This is up on the community section of the YouTube channel. Uh, so this thing here is about uh, a little, oh, it's, almost, it's a little less than twice the size of a 35 liter backpack. So it's, it's too big to put into a backpack and carry out, but not so big that it can't be picked up and moved. I actually picked it up out of the creek and moved it up to the bank so that so it doesn't get uh, damaged or washed away in a flash flood or anything like that. It's, it's up on the bank now, so I was able to pick it up and move it, but it took all I could to fucking pick it up and move it. So, um, I found this, th and this is another crystal, just about the same type of crystal that we have at, uh, on the column at base camp. I didn't get a, I didn't have a lot of time to, uh, look at it. Um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna shape it into, Jay. I'm just gonna make this a giant crystal penis and set it in my front yard. I think that would be epic. So yeah, we got the we got this new hunk of uh, quartz out there, uh, and this type of quartz would be ice age deposit quartz too. I have an idea of how I can get it out of the woods, but it's gonna take some work because it's about a mile deep. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm thinking about getting that back home, taking a hammer and chisel to it, and make a giant penis for my front flower bed. And we'll, we'll call it that too. Penis Rock. We're going to start off with a Bushcraft channel here. We're going to play a, a, a quick clip from one of her videos. Um, this uh, particular channel that I'm going to be bringing up and offering a hyperlink to in a minute has 105k subscribers on YouTube. Uh, and started off as a Bushcraft channel but eventually moved on from Bushcraft just like I did and started doing some other things. And it's actually helped the brand out. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start playing this video here a little bit while I'm explaining some of this. So, um, get this adjusted so you guys can see everything on oh, nice and neat. Get it back down here where it belongs. Uh, bushcraft, uh, and I've explained this on a couple of streams as, uh, recently. Bushcraft is such a, a, a tiny uh, audience pool that it's ridiculous. Uh, there are other, uh, a ton of other bushcraft channels out there that you're competing on it, uh, you know, with again, like, bleh, 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 like, on YouTube. You got the competition, uh, nobody wants to call it a competition, but you're definitely competing for views and attention. Um, but it's such a small audience pool, and most of the audience is starting up channels of their own, that nobody's getting anywhere anymore, they're just limping along. Uh, and and they're they're probably if we're being honest they're probably staying around long after they should have called it quits but that's their decision if they just want to keep beating their head against the brick wall that's fine but anyway this gal here uh, over a hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube but she only puts out silent videos just like this this whole setup everything that she does it's all silent 
So she does. She's never clickbaited. She's never put up like some sort of clickbait thumbnail or anything like that. She never talks in the videos. She never does anything except show what you're seeing right here, basically breakdowns and skill sets. She put together a rather nice saw there. She's brilliant. The way the way that she films is brilliant. And to do it without talking. I thought it was a, her her approach was interesting. Like she shows you step by step on how to do it to do these things without verbally communicating how to do it. So she's not compounding the video with uh, dialogue. It's just straight up show you how to do it without having to talk. It's, it's amazing how she does it. She hasn't put out a lot of videos, but she's got massive amount of growth. Tons of B-roll, but she's not talking. So technically the entire video is just B-roll. It's just compilations of B-roll. Putting it together, using it, different camera angles. It's compilations of B-roll. Not complicated with, uh, or con, you know, confounded with the, the dialogue. She doesn't have to worry about editing out a mistake that she said or anything like that. She just lets the camera roll while she's out there doing her thing. B-roll bushcraft, but she called it true bushcraft. She never gets a sponsor. She never talks. She never uses clickbait. She just goes out there and does the skill set. Mass respect for that. Uh, we have WitcherCon going on tonight, which is a huge international live stream that'll probably have a couple of thousand people in the chat. So I'll probably be going to uh, WitcherCon tonight at nine. The the next stream starts off t tonight at nine. Um, I won't be able to stay there too long, but I did want to stop by for a visit uh, for that particular live stream just because it's so huge. Um, Maybe make a couple of friends while I'm there, and uh, check out what what the what Netflix has going on because Netflix is actually hosting this live stream, so uh, it's a big production. I want to see I want to see what a major production company uh, puts together as far as a con, which is you know a big event. So I'm gonna go check that out at nine o'clock. I'll probably I'll probably hang out there until I'm ready to just fucking go into a coma until you know. I have to go to work tomorrow. Launch the uh, YouTube Shorts playlist, which I held off on YouTube Shorts for a good long while for a reason. Uh, everybody was doing it, and I didn't want to jump in there while everybody else was doing it. But I went ahead and, and compiled the first uh, of the list today, and um, a lot of them of, of what I'm doing here is just. Uh, mapping out the forest there's this uh, schedule it's not just me making content I have to go support other people's content too and they expect me to be there uh, because of agreements and there are other people that um, I j are other streams that I just want to be in because of the size and it's it's exposure just having your name in that chat um, that's all networking but the networking gauntlet that I'm running right now is retarded but I'm trying to uh, get more people involved, you know what I mean? People are only going to come to see the same kind of thing so many times and then they're going to move on. Which is where, where the genre thing get, gets to you. That's where you, you get nailed. We were talking about that in your stream the other night. They're, they, if, they get, if they know exactly what they're going to see and there's no surprises, why are they going to come and watch? Uh, that's where Corporal's Corner messed up with his build formula build a, a, a new shelter every single week it, it became cliche after about week three and people and his views just started dropping on it like okay you can build stuff what else can you do you know okay you're an outdoors guy what else can you do uh, so and that's where I'm at and in order to uh, branch out to new audiences you got to meet new people and you got to not just visit them one time you got to hang out with them for a couple of months or a year and then say, ask for a favor, you know. 
and there's this there's this rise of with these live streams there seems to be this rise of networking efforts but you got people you don't even know coming to your stream plugging their channel or trying to plug their channel and you don't really know them like you just met them but they want to piggyback off your live stream to grow their own brand uh people are a lot more uh self-absorbed than they like to think that they are <laughs> 